Hey there, Eric from LED Grow Lights Depot again. Today I'll be unboxing the Science LED Dragon XL600 LED Grow Light. This light is part of the Dragon series, which includes the LP250 Veg, XL600, and XL1200. The LP250 is a Veg light built for racking systems, while the XL600 and XL1200 are meant for indoor grow rooms or greenhouses. All of these lights can be used in smaller indoor grows such as grow tents. What makes the Dragon series unique compared to other LED grow lights? Well, first off, these are smart LED grow lights, which means the spectrum, intensity, and scheduling are all controllable via a wireless app. And most of all, these fixtures contain unique lenses, unlike anything I've ever seen before, to disperse the light in an even pattern over the canopy. Let's dig in some more. The XL600 comes discreetly shipped and double boxed. So this was at the top of the box. This is an envelope with a few things in it. This is just a little card talking about Science LED and how to connect the unit and some contact support numbers, frequently asked questions link, and so on. And here's a business card. If you have any specific questions, you can call Lance anytime. And of course, a sticker. The XL600 measures 26.5 inches by 7 inches by 5 inches, and it weighs 22 pounds. The fixture is elongated and contains sets of PCBs side by side. The PCBs are covered with special optics. Behind the PCBs and inside the sturdy white waterproof housing is a thick aluminum heat sink. A fan which sits on top of the fixture draws air into the housing, over the heat sink, and out the other side. The ends of the fixture contain several holes for hanging the fixture depending on the angle that you want the fixture to sit at. The unit contains a 120 volt three prong power cord. The spectrum, intensity, and scheduling of up to 250 fixtures can be controlled via a Bluetooth connection on an Android or iOS app. The Dragon XL600 is designed to replace a 1000 watt HID grow light for indoor or greenhouse grows. There are 96 high power diodes across the fixture made up of four independently controlled channels. Warm white, 2700K, neutral white, 4000K, cool white, 6500K, and 660 nanometer red. The diodes are covered by Science LED's patented lenses. This is where the light really shines, so to speak. The lenses are available in 120 degrees or 70 degrees. The 120 degrees is best for indoor applications where the lights need to be mounted 6 inches to 36 inches above the canopy. This covers just about all grow rooms and grow tents. The 70 degree option is best for greenhouses or taller grow rooms with clearances up to 4 feet to 14 feet above the canopy. The PAR efficacy of the unit is reported at 1.2 to 3.8 micromoles per joule depending on the spectrum. The PPF is reported at 851 micromoles per second. While not the highest efficacy at full spectrum or the highest light output, Science LED is not playing the efficacy game. They are focusing on optics and using optics to create a more uniform light footprint. Instead of all the light being concentrated in the middle of the footprint directly underneath the fixture, the intensity is just slightly lower under the fixture and higher as you move toward the edges. This is important as the optics allow the light energy to be equally dispersed over the canopy, eliminating low PPFD readings in the corners and edges and allows the light to penetrate into the canopy. When many of these lights are used together, such as in larger grow rooms, the light footprints overlap in a unique way, with high intensity light coming from multiple angles to any particular spot across the canopy. 
The unique lens pattern also causes the light to hold its intensity throughout the canopy down to the base of the plants. We have a few videos posted on the product page, linked below in the description, that go a little more in depth on how science's optics function. Check them out. The XL600 is rated for 110 to 277 volt AC power. The fixture draws about 625 watts at the wall and 5.3 amps at 120 volts and around 2.6 amps at 240 volts at full intensity. The unit will draw varying amounts of power depending on the intensity and spectrum. The footprint for this fixture is a 4 foot by 4 foot area for a full cycle tent grow. The hanging distance varies depending on the growth phase and intensity that you want to deliver to your plants. Typical hanging heights are 36 inches, 24 inches, 18 inches, and 15 inches. In a larger grow space, such as in a commercial grow, you should request a light plot to determine the hanging height and number of fixtures required to cover your plants. The Dragon XL600 is a full spectrum white light fixture at full power. There's a medium sized peak in blue, a good amount of green light, and a large peak in 660 nanometer red at full intensity. The four separate color channels can be controlled independently, which allows you to customize your own spectrum. With a scheduling option, you can program your own spectrums and intensities throughout an entire 24 hour period and create your own light recipes. The app allows you to ramp up or down the intensities for a sunrise sunset effect. And while we're on the subject of spectrum, let me show you how to do this on the app. Take a look. Here's what the app looks like that controls the Dragon series grow lights. So this is available for Android and iOS. So this is a tablet which, is, uh, which has Android software on it. I'm just going to open it up and you can see that it's going to pull up all the lights within range and this connects via Bluetooth. Now what we first notice is that there's different channels to control the lights. So these are the different spectrums available cool, natural, red, warm, and the intensity. So I'm just gonna play with the recipe mode right here. So you can see that I switched to the recipe mode and selected recipes at the bottom. Let's just go into the first one and I'll briefly show you how to set a recipe. And I'm not gonna go too far in depth in this because this is beyond the scope of the review. I'm just gonna play around with this a little bit. I'm just adjusting the different color channels See, there's some buttons at the bottom you can have the transition be immediate or ramp up step on or off and i'm just going to apply this all right that's applied and to add a new step just press the plus button set another setting in there and these are my different steps so you can keep adding steps to the recipe Now I'm gonna turn the recipe mode off and uh, just play around with this a little bit. I'll show you how this works. So this is adjusting the cool color channel. And I'm just messing with this, you know, no specific uh, spectrum or, you know, recipe in mind. Just showing you the capabilities of this light. So it's pretty cool that you can adjust all these different color channels. You can go from all the way off to all the way on. All right, and to disconnect, just open up the menu and press disconnect. It's a really simple app, really easy to use. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a four foot by four foot grow tent. As always, keep in mind that the reflective nature of this tent probably increases PAR readings everywhere, especially in the corners and edges. Now, I did my best to consider the angle of the sensor to accurately capture the incoming angled light. Let me show you what I mean. We want the sensor to accurately capture the incoming light, so we want to angle this towards the incoming light. If we're on the edges and corners, we're just going to angle the sensor towards the fixture, like this, and you'll see me do this in the PAR readings. Let's see the actual PAR readings now. I'm gonna take four different readings in the tent. The first one's gonna be at 36 inches at full intensity. So right in the middle, we're around 260 PPFD. You can see as I move this to the edge 
and angling it in, we're right around the same par as we were in the middle. And in the corner, angling this in just a little bit. We're actually at a higher PPFD, and this is because of the unique lenses on this fixture. So really good light spread at 36 inches. Now this is not gonna be intense enough for flowering. This would be a good veg height if you're doing this in a four x four. The second reading's at 24 inches. We're at 346 PPFD, right in the center. Moving this to the edge and angling it in. You can see that's slightly higher. And in the corner, angling it in, 500 PPFD. So same story here. Notice that the PPFD is higher on the edges and corners as opposed to in the middle. So I've actually never seen a fixture do this before. Usually you have a hot spot in the middle and then drops off in the edges and even more in the corners. You can see all the other reviews that I've done of these lights or these grow lights. Uh, this is what happens except for this light. This is unique and again, it's due to those special lenses. So pretty cool technology here. Just moving the sensor around, getting some different readings so you can see how that intensity holds throughout the entire footprint. All right, our third reading's at 18 inches. So right around 570, 580 PPFD in the center. It's increasing a little bit as we move away. Getting right up to 800 on the edge which is really, really good. So I might have angled this in a little bit too far. It might be picking up some of the light reflecting off the bottom. So in the corner around 300, high 300s. And you can see how that angle matters. So when I hold the center straight up, do you see it drop down to just slightly below 200? And then moving it towards the middle. And then we'll check this edge right around just below 600 PPFD. Okay, and our last reading is at 15 inches at full intensity. So about 815 in the middle. I'm gonna do my best to keep this angle accurate throughout the entire reading. Seeing that number increase as we move away from the light, just maintaining that angle. It's gonna drop off a little bit more towards the edges, but still really good numbers here. So seven, 800 PPFD, and in the corner. Just adjust this in the corner right up around 200, just moving to this edge, around 600, 640, just moving it around 800 throughout the area in the middle here. So you can see by the par readings that you wanna keep this light probably between 15 and 18 inches above the canopy. Also, take a look at the PAR readings provided by Science LED for the XL600 in a 4x4 tent at 15 inches and notice the amazing uniformity. In the rare case that you have a problem with your fixture, the Dragon XL600 comes with a 5-year manufacturer's warranty. The fixture is assembled in Arizona, United States. The Dragon series is UL, FCC, CE, ROHS, and CSA approved. This basically means that it's considered electrically safe and can be used in commercial grows in North America and Europe. The MSRP on the XL600 is $1,495. At the time of this review, it is listed as $1,295 with an automatic 10% off at LED Grow Lights Depot. Pricing may vary in the future. If you want to learn more or purchase the Science LED Dragon XL600 Grow Light, view the link in the description. Give this video a like and comment to let us know what you think about it. And if you want more content like this, subscribe to us on YouTube. Happy growing!